What's going on, fellas? I already dropped the video earlier, but I had to make another video today because I don't, I don't want to say it was a negative video, but you know what I'm saying? I had to put dudes in their place. So I want, I want to make another video kind of on a positive note. So let's get straight into it, man. Only date women who make your life easier. So if you have to stay single for a while, take your time, stay single, work on yourself, man, because there's only certain type of women that are willing to do that. And they may not have all the qualities you're looking for in a look department and um, in a bedroom department, but those are things you can 100% work on. Just like you as a man, you can improve your physique. A woman can improve, can improve her physique as well, and you two can do it together. So, again, only date women who make your life easier. I'm, you know, I'm talking about women that's willing to cook for you, women that's willing to do laundry, you know, wifely duties without wanting to ring on it. Do not listen to these street interviews and these women on TikTok who tell you they're not willing to do wifely duties without a ring. They're not willing to do those things without you marrying them or getting engaged to them. That is bull crap because when you marry a woman, the same thing you were getting when she was your girlfriend is the same thing you're going to get when you're married. So if she's not willing those, to do those things in the beginning, you should not even be taking her serious. All right. Some of you fellas are in relationships dating these women and your boyfriend and girlfriend, you've been boyfriend and girlfriend for a while. And the only really main thing you're getting out of the relationship is a few, a few meals and pussy. That's it. A few meals and pussy. You're not even getting her bread. You're not getting any of her money. You know what I'm saying? A, a real man who a woman respects, she's giving her money to. And I want that to really sit in your head, fellas. Really, really get that in your head. A man who a woman respects and a man who's really doing everything he's supposed to do, she's giving you her bread. Plain and simple. Y'all not married. Y'all not nothing. Y'all just boyfriend and girlfriend. Y'all been dating. And she automatically gives you the bread. She trusts that you will do the right thing with the money. She trusts that you have a plan for you and her future. So if you're already in a relationship with a woman like that, you need to sit down and have a conversation or maybe you need to go your separate ways. And if you're a single man, you're watching this right now, I'm telling you, man, only only date that type of woman. And there are women out there that are attractive, that are submissive, that are feminine, and that will love you, be loyal to you, and will give you their money. I, I'm telling you, I'm not even lying to you, fellas. I'm not the greatest looking dude, but I'm not an ugly dude either. I, I've experienced, off the top of my head, at least 10, 10 females in my, um, I'll be 34 in October. Started having girlfriends since I was 16, you know? I could say 10, 10 girls I could think of off the top right now that was giving me money, buying me stuff. Without This is without me even asking. And I'm not making this up. God knows I'm not lying. So... When it comes to women making your life easier, that's all I've pretty much experienced. And I want you guys to do it too. So again, that takes working on yourself. If you're not if you're not the most handsome man in the face, if you never if you don't have women telling you you're handsome, if you don't have women always, you know, looking at you even when you're in regular clothes, not when you're just in the gym or don't have your your muscles or arms showing. Do you know you're the type of dude that will experience these type of things. You will have no problem getting women that make your life easier. But if you're not if you're not the best looking dude, do you need to get in the gym and work on your physique? Work on the body parts that stand out. Work on your your biceps and your triceps, your arms. Work on your shoulders. If you have a gut, a stomach, you need to you need to get that stomach down, man. You need to find a way to get your stomach down. That's going to be based on eating. You know, I see a lot of dudes with the bubble guts in the gym and they on the on the ab machine and, I'm, and in my head i'm like what are you doing that's not gonna do anything yeah yeah under all the fat you have abs you know what i'm saying you have a strong core but you doing that is not gonna make a show it starts in the kitchen and then you really have to wait till you get your stomach down you start to see your stomach get down and then you want to hit the ab machine so you can tone your abs see people don't realize those machines are for toning those machines are not for making bubble guts go down that's not how it works you want that V-taper, fellas. That's what women find attractive. Luckily, I've been blessed with, like, wide shoulders. I've always had, like, wide shoulders and a, and a very long width. I'm only, like, 5'10", 5'10 and a half, 5'11 with Tim's on, with boots on. But I've, I've had always had broad shoulders. And since I started going to the gym, I've been able to work on my V-taper even more. You know, my wide shoulders, my, uh, my uh, lats, and then a small waist. This is what women find attractive. 
So you want to work on that. You want to work on legs. I see too many dudes with, with skinny legs and no, and no calves. Stop skipping legs, man. You want to work on your quads. So again, your shoulders, your, uh, your arms, your, your legs, your quads. Obviously, your back too. Obviously, your back. But your back, you, you shouldn't have pretty too much trouble growing your back. So, you know what I mean? That's that's something that will you could always work on. But those other main parts, that's what women first see when you're walking in, in front of them and they stand in front of you. Is a, that's the first thing they see. So, you want to work on those things. Obviously, your finances matter. But if, when you, listen, when you a real dude on your game and a woman really respects you, is really into you, that does not matter. How much money you make does does not really matter. And that's why I don't like this whole, what do you bring to the table? It's not what a woman brings to the table. It's, is she willing to make your life easier? That's the first thing you should be asking a woman on a date. If you're going to take a woman out on a date, if y'all going out, you got to ask her from the beginning, fellas, what, what can you do to make my life easier? Are you willing to make my life easier? If she says no or gets an attitude or any type of pushback, no, don't take her serious unless she's willing to you know, take some time, maybe a couple days, a few weeks, you're not speaking to get her mind right and come back and say, you know, I really thought about it. I, I'm really attracted to you. You know what I'm saying? you, you, I really see us have a potential and I'm willing to give this a try. She's going to have to come back saying that because other than that, man, you got to get the step. I don't care how fat that butt is. I don't care how big her boobs are. I don't care how much of a good personality she has. I don't care how feminine all that. If she's not willing to make your life easier, why waste your time? You are about to invest your whole life into her. You are about to invest your whole life into her, your whole future, her, everything you work for. If you consider marrying her, and a lot of you dudes aren't asking for prenups. So even for the dudes, because I know there's a lot of dudes on my channel that say they don't want to get married, or maybe they're not looking to get married, or they're not in a rush. You're going to have to take your time even more, even more to find a woman that's willing to make your life easier. Because a lot of women, it's all about them. A lot of women rather put, not missing their appointment to get their nails done or their or their weave sewing or whatever you call it to get their hair done over cooking you your your, your meal. Because you just came from the gym and you got to eat. You got you to gotta eat so that you can uh, refuel your muscles. Refuel. A lot of women going to put the hair or the nails before that. That's not making your life easier. When you tell her to do something and you come home and it's not done and she says she forgot or, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's perfect. Of course, she's going to forget. But if it's a over and over and over thing, you can tell she's just a, not doing it. She just keep telling you she forgot whatever cause, just because she's putting it off. That's not making your life easier. So only get with women, only be with women seriously in relationships if they're willing to do that. Because we are living in in serious, serious hard times right now, fellas. With the, and I know I know you guys are dealing with a lot at the workplace, you know, out and about in the streets, with your family. And the last thing you need is to come home to stress, to to arguing about where you've been, about you know what's going on with your brother. Why are you spending so much time with your brother? Why you got to help out this? Why you got to do that? She just nagging you, whatever it is, whatever it might be. Or you know what I'm saying. Uh, a girlfriend who's always hindering you from your goals because she just wants to spend time with you so much and you, you realize when you get around her, you become lazy. You just want to just have sex, keep having sex. That's all she wants to do. Yeah, you enjoy it, but it's hindering you from your goals. That's not making your life easier. Listen, a woman who, who wants to make your life easier is willing to get on your page, get on your agenda. She wants to be a, a, party, a part of your dreams, a part of your goals. She wants to help you chase them. That's why you can't get with women who say they, they're pursuing their career. Don't get with women that are pursuing their career. Get with, with women who are already established in their career, already, you know what I'm saying, each year getting raises, you know what I'm saying, or already making, already have money in the bank, already have money saved. Don't get a woman that says, oh, I think I want to go back to school. No. She has to be done with that type of stuff, fellas. I'm telling you, I'm trying to help you guys out. Don't let this stuff go on one ear out the other. Unless, unless she's willing to start a business with you and two could, you and you and her could work on a business together, that's something different. 
But when a woman wants to go out and go back to school, those are those are selfish goals. Those are selfish goals that should have been done before you got into the relationship, before you got into the marriage. Too many you, too many men that are married are letting their women go back to school, letting their women pursue a new career. No, don't. No, there's no pursuing a new career. Careers have you end end up working for another white man, working for some other white man, his company. Start. We can start our own company, have our own LLC. That's the thought process of a woman you need to be with. Not a woman who wants to pursue a career where she's working for somebody else. She needs to be thinking about what income to bring into the household for you two. Think about business you two could you two can do together. Me and my lady gonna be starting a skincare business. We're working on that. That's something we're doing together. That was her idea, but we're gonna do it together. Nothing selfish here. Nothing selfish under this roof. Because we pay for it together. We pay the mortgage together, we pay the bills together. Everything's together. There's no all, all on me, all on her. That's not that's not the relationship we have. And that's not a relationship that I suggest anybody should have any... any wow, I don't want to mess up my words. Let me just say, that is a relationship I suggest that more people should have. Not just men paying for everything. Or a woman paying for everything. It, it should be 50-50 as far as the bills go. And when you're out and about, it's not tip for tat. When we, when we go out, I, I pay for stuff. She pays for stuff. It's not. It, it, and sometimes I pay for stuff for the whole day or or the whole week. And next week she'll pay for everything. You know what I'm saying? It's not tip for tat. It's not. Oh, I just bought that stuff at the store that you buy. That's not how we work. But when it comes to bills, yes, fifty fifty. It's just better that way. But this video is long enough, fellas. I just want to give give you fellas some advice for the ones that sort of subscribe or maybe even some new subscribers. So comment down below and um, let me know how you feel. And uh, hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure your notifications are set to all. Catch you next one. Peace and love.